I'm Tomasz Paus. I am a Rotman scientist here at Baycrest. What interests me is why we are different, why our brains are different, what it is that uh, makes you really good at certain things and me actually maybe bad at the same thing. And to look for the answers, we need to go uh, into our genes and into our experiences, into the environment that very often in a dance uh, of nature and nurture shape our brains and shape also our bodies. Imaging, uh, as you can imagine, uh, is an incredible tool that is allowing us to study the human brain, uh, the subtle details, subtle differences between brains of different individuals, whether they are healthy or uh, suffer from different disorders, but also differences in how their brains function. And so I got really over the past uh, 20 years or so, I got really interested and I think reasonably good uh, at using different imaging tools to understand that uh, those aspects of brain behavior relationships. And that kind of brings me to the transgenerational brain and body center that we are setting up here at Baycrest. Uh, and the idea is again the same. Take the holistic approach, study brain and body together, study it now not only in one age group, but study it in fact in three age groups that are linked through their genes and environment that is they belong to the same family. So what we are uh, going to do and hopefully start in the fall of this year will start recruiting three generational families, teenagers, their parents and their grandparents and then we will ask them to participate in our detailed evaluations of their brains and bodies. We will ask them to provide a sample of their blood for uh, genetic analyses. We will ask them lots of questions about their previous experiences, environments that they have experienced, and then we'll bring it all together in sophisticated models that hopefully will allow us to predict whether a particular person is on a healthy trajectory, will age and much mature and age in a healthy way, or whether that person and other person is on a risky trajectory that may lead eventually to those common chronic disorders such as depression or dementia or uh, disorders of the body such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. And therefore we should be able also to come up with personalized preventive strategies with a way in which we can tell you in an individualized way what to do to stay healthy as long as possible. I'm Tomasz Paus, a Rotman scientist at Baycrest.